South African news today, not tomorrow, today. In this video, I'm going to share things with you that is literally, it's going to shake your world around. So it's, it's going to scare you and at the same time, it's also going to wake you up. And it's all got to do with news. And that is why I'm calling this South African news today. Okay, hi there, my name is, is Edel Mueller, and this video is going to want you to share um, with all your friends and family. Reason being, I'm telling you now, this video is going to go viral, and you're going to help me to let this video go viral. Reason being, what the news is doing to you is not very good at all, and I'm going to give you a huge explanation and show you some examples as to what it is doing to you. Uh, but before we get started, I highly suggest you subscribe to my YouTube channel, and next to the subscribe button, Hit the notification bell in order to get notified of all future uploads or awesome videos. Now, firstly, South African news, any news, doesn't matter where it is, but South African news is not good at all. What does news do? News installs fear in you on a continuous basis every single day. What does people do when you wake up? What do you do when you wake up in the morning? Comment below quickly. Comment below. I'll give you the time. I don't mind. I've got all day. I want you to comment below this video. What do you think about South African news? Just comment South African news, good. South African news, bad. Or South African news, and give me a whole explanation. I would honestly know, like to know what do you think about South African news. So, first thing, first thing that people does in the morning is when they wake up. I, I, I know I used to do this until I've actually discovered when I started doing personal development what is actually happening within your body when you continue to watch news over and over and over, and why does the world impress it on people to actually watch news the whole day? And why is it? Look, look around you. When you switch on your radio, I think every 10 minutes or 20 minutes or hour, doesn't matter because I don't actually listen to news, but I think it's every hour there's a news break or something. On TV, every hour or so there's also about a news break. People can't wait to watch the, what, 7 o'clock news or half past 6 or whatever it might be, news. People can't wait to watch the 6 o'clock news in the morning, 7 o'clock news in the morning, 8 o'clock news in the morning. Why? Because they install fear in you. And that fear, once you've got the human mind in, and the human body in a state of fear, you can control them. You can do with them what you want to do with them. And as long as you keep them suppressed in fear, you stop them from growing as well. You stop the individual from growing. You stop the individual from expanding his mind, going into, into um, how can I put it, locking into universal power so that you can be creative and do what you love doing. So let me quickly show you a picture. And I'm going to talk about, in this picture, I'm going to talk about cells, then I'm going to talk about nutrients, and I'm going to talk about toxins. So what it does is this little purple section right here, this is called cells, okay? As you can see, that is cells. Now, with what, they did, what this guy did, and let me show you this guy's channel. This guy's called Dr. Bruce H. Lipton. Okay, just check out his channel. But he studies everything about like mind and body. And he's, I've got multiple mentors, but I actually love his channel. So let me go back to this picture and let me show you what stress actually does to you. And why, why does fear cause your body to release certain toxins which put you in a state of stress and that actually, it, it released the toxins, the this, this stress releases toxins. So fear causes stress, stress releases toxins. And that literally, it makes you sick. It stops you from being intelligent, believe it or not. Um, it does multiple things. So let me show you. The purple is the cells. Green is nutrients. And in this little red dot here, and this little red dot here, that is called toxins. So look what happened. So this guy, Dr. Bruce Lipton, he went and he took cells and he put them in, I don't know how they do all these medical things, but he put them against nutrients. And a couple of minutes later, look what happened to the cells. The cells, the cells started moving forward immediately in order to take the nutrients in. So to take the good stuff in, take gratitude in, take happiness in, take the life, love, take everything in. Nutrients, proteins. Take all of that in. That's what the cells do. So they immediately, basically, so to say, put their arms around it in order to take it in. Okay. So on the other side, look at what toxins do. Toxins 
There's the cells, there's the toxins. A couple of minutes later, the cells actually moves away from the toxins. Okay, so what does that do? The toxins then continues to grow within the body unless you stop it and it literally starts expanding and expanding and expanding and it evolves and it starts breaking down your body, your immune system. Why? Because the cells does not want to take it in. The cells does not want to form part of toxins. It completely moves away. So fear causes stress. Stress releases toxins. And that is what's happening to your body. That's why you're continuously sick. People are always sick because they're always stressed. But why? News. Stop watching news. So that, that's what I want to talk about. So, you know, South African news. People must stop watching news. I can tell you, if you want... What is, what is a habit? A habit, or what is a paradigm? A paradigm is a multitude of habits. And you, as a human being, you are programmed with habitual ways, habits. And that forms a paradigm. Your belief system forms a paradigm. What is a belief system? It's a multitude of habits, a, multi, a multitude of thoughts. And your thoughts drives the emotions and feelings within your body. And your emotions and feelings actually drives your body. And your body starts moving in the direction of your thoughts, your vibrations, your feelings, and that is where your body is moving to. So, and what can you attract into your life? The only thing you can attract into your life is whatever you are in harmonious vibration with. So your body, why don't you start thinking certain thoughts? I want you to test it. Start thinking very, very negative thoughts when somebody did something bad to you and, and notice your, your body, the change in your body. Your vibration, everything starts changing. So do that Do that for a day. Look, I take no responsibility for anything that, ha that happens within that day. But focus on your body that day. Focus on, so, good example. In the morning, when you wake up, everything starts going bad. You, let's say, for instance, waste toothpaste on yourself. You drop your coffee mug. Um, you might be late for work. Uh, the daily life and things just go bad. On your way to work, in traffic, a guy drives in front of you. Um, you're almost in an accident. So what happens? That whole day starts off negative, and you put yourself in a negative vibration. But the rest of the day, unless you change your thoughts and your vibration of your body, everything goes bad. At work, everything goes bad. On lunch, everything goes bad. Wherever you are, things just goes not the way you want them to go. All of a sudden, uh, for instance, your boss approaches you, or a friend approaches you with bad news. Why? Because your body is in a negative vibration. Now in the morning when you wake up and you've got a good day, so for instance, let's say you're looking forward to going on holiday and everything just goes well, you wake up, you're excited, you're feeling good, you're happy, that whole day, everything goes well, everything goes good and it's according to plan. Reason being because you, you literally, your thoughts and emotions and feelings literally put your body in a good state of vibration and you can only attract what you are in harmonious vibration with. So then again, back to news, what does news do? News breaks that down. News puts you in a permanent state of fear, which literally causes your body to move in a vibration, which is not good for you, and then you attract certain things into your life because you, you are moving in, a, in that harmonious vibration. So once again, comment below. Let me know what you think about this, everything that I'm explaining to you. Does this make sense, sense to you? Just eat, you know, comment below. Um, love what you're sharing at all, or this is unbelievable, whatever it might be. Or if you've got a negative comment, by all means, Put it down there. Because I will, I can tell you now, I will find some negative people watching this video with negative comments. And then again, I love you too as well. Okay. I love you as well. doesn't really matter. But in any case, and may you be blessed with a fantastic and a wealthy and a happy life, full of love and gratitude and all of that. Okay. So then again, um, that is, that is what the news do. And news is not just in South Africa. News is all over the world. And that is why... We are sitting in a situation in South Africa where everything is about violence and politics and this and this and that and that. Why? Because of news. And they continue. And people are so caught up in news. Why? It's because the fear, that fear controls you. You can't go without it. You, you continuously want to watch it. That's why when, when people are watching a scary movie, and that's what movies do as well, um, is they, they do pattern interrupts. And now with fear... When you're watching a scary movie, you are so intrigued. At the same time, you're so scared, but you can't stop watching. And that is exactly what the news do. And that puts your body in a, in a negative vibration. It's not a good vibration. And your cells move away from, from the toxins. Toxins takes over and it makes you sick. Okay, so instead of watching news, you've got to break your habit. How do you break your habit? Start thinking positive thoughts. 
continuously for at least 21 days, 21 to 30, to 30 days. Once you what, monitor your thought. Okay, so when you think a negative thought, immediately replace it with three positive thoughts in order to change your paradigm. You will see after about 30, 21 to 30 days, you will start thinking more positive thoughts. But stop watching news. First thing, make a promise. Promise yourself now. Leave me a comment below once more. Say, Errol, I promise that I will stop watching news as from today. Okay, comment. If you, if you are making that promise today and you accept that you will no longer watch news, in the comments below, let me know. I accept that I will no longer watch news going forward. Then, um, so you've got to break your mental habit and your thoughts, which in turn will then put your body in a certain vibration because of emo emotions and feelings, and you will start moving in a certain direction. So focus on what you want to do in life, not where you currently are. As soon as you start doing that, so you first you've got to stop watching news. Then you start thinking about what it is that you really want to do in life. And continue focusing on that. Okay. And things to help you is personal development. I've got multiple books. Let me share with you. Here's a book. So when we speak, when we talk about finances, okay, because I'm a financial advisor. So uh, I do multiple things like life insurance, threat disease, investments, um, car insurance, retirement planning, multiple things. So when we talk about finances, I would highly suggest you get this book. Tony Robbins, Unshakable. Now, it actually goes with another book called, and that book is actually my draw. It's called uh, Tony Robbins, uh, Seven Steps to Financial Freedom. Uh, Money Master the Game. Yeah, Tony Robbins, Money Master the Game, Seven Steps to Financial Freedom. I highly suggest you read that book first. Then you come and read this book called Unshakable by Tony Robbins. I've got another book, Sec Secrets of Closing the Sales by Zig Ziglar. Then I've got Tools of Titans. This is some of the best and highest achievers in the world sharing their tips with you in this book, Tools of Titans. It's a thick book, but it's a brilliant book. Power of the Subconscious Mind. This book has got to do with the subconscious mind. Everything that I'm telling you now, it's got to do with this. Then, The Hidden Power Within by Thomas Troward. As a Man Thinketh by James Allen. It's a small book, but the power that you will get from this book it's, it's amazing, okay, it's all got to do with the mind, the way you think, okay, so The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace D. Wattles, brilliant book, I've read this book multiple times, my ultimate, I've got books, Sal more by David News, I've got Working with the Law by Raymond Hollywell, yes, Raymond Hollywell, then I've got a memory book if you are bad at memory, um, I've, man, I've got books and books, but my ultimate favorite, let me share with you the book that got me started in personal development, or well, not the book, I've, there was actually, I got started in personal development through a company, but this is the book that started it all for me, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, okay, so this is the book that got it all started for me, now, if you, if you'd like to, know, I'm going to share a couple of things with you right now, so, Firstly, if you'd like to know how to make money on YouTube, like I'm doing myself, and in that video, I share results with you and everything, then comment below how to make money on YouTube, okay? If you would like for me to sit with you as a financial advisor to help you with things like life insurance, retirement planning, investments, car insurance, things like that, then comment um, life insurance South Africa. Okay, comment that below this video, Life Insurance South Africa, and I will get back to you. Okay, if you are interested in, what's the other one? If you're interested in making money online, not just on YouTube, but making money online, starting an online business or joining an online business where you literally market somebody else's products and you get paid by it, but it's not just marketing the product. It's all about personal development. It's all about developing you. Then comment below how to make money online. And I will get in contact with you. If you'd like to know more about car insurance, then comment below the video, Car Insurance South Africa. So I've given you multiple things to do. Now, first, that's it. Just stop watching news. Please stop watching news. And do what I've suggested in this video. So we've been going for some time, but it's fun. I don't really care. This is my YouTube channel. Subscribe and please share this video. Let this video go viral. Let people see what news is doing to what to all of us. Like this video. Share this video on Facebook with your friends and family. And comment below this video. Do what I've suggested. 
Okay, perfect. Thank you for watching. This has been a long video and I appreciate you and may you be blessed with a wonderful life going forward. Have a fantastic day.